Hello, everybody. <clears throat> my name is uh, Osmo582, and I need a fan on real quick. Excuse me. Hope this doesn't mess up the recording too much. And I am sick. Luckily, it is only a minor, or not even minor. I'd say this is a major sinus infection I have now. Um, and we are here to play Two Point Hospital in celebration of me being sick. Um, I attempted to play Theme Hospital, and I couldn't get it to work correctly, and I, didn't, I don't feel good enough to look into it. Unfortunately, I have none of the DLCs or anything, uh, so, sorry. Um, yeah, Mega Hospital. Ah, uh, so that looks good. <coughs> um, alrighty, here we go. So we have to start with our reception area. So you start that with a desk. Looks good. I got it, thank you, go away. Played this game before. Alright, we need a bunch of benches. Now, the only other thing is about this game is... Oops, I forgot, we have to pause the damn game. Because... In Theme Hospital, you can open your hospital when you're ready. In this one, there is no opening it when you're ready. It is open. <coughs> it is open now. Alright, I'm trying to think of how my local hospital is is uh, based. Oops. I'm trying to keep this. Uh, there we go. Okay, it looks as even as it can be. Okay, beautiful. Alrighty, uh, let's see, how about a drink machine as well? Let's rotate the camera. Since all this money, I can get, uh, you know, I can get the basics down for now. <laughs> Chub and cheese. That sounds pretty tasty. Oh, man, my fucking congestion. Let me get some. <coughs> uh, here in the U.S., we don't call them GPs. Or maybe we do, I'm just dumb and don't know. I just call them doctors because I'm a fucking idiot. So in this game, or as real life, you need a GP's office. So your general practitioner. And he'll be the one. I mean, I've never seen a doctor's office where it, it looks like this. Like, to be 100% honest. Like, where it looks comfy, you know. And, like, he doesn't really, like, examine you. Right, so that's, like, what I mean. Is that, like, the GP's office here looks really comfy. You can give him a fucking coffee uh, machine in there? I don't think so. He does need some plants to make it look all beautiful. <coughs> God, I gotta start trying not cough into the mic like an idiot. Alright, there you go. GP's office. Uh, I feel like nurses would do a lot of stuff in here. At least at my urgent care, that's how it is. We'll do some toxic waste, just in case. Hand sanitizer. You know, you gotta, you know, we gotta keep things clean here. How about a big old sunflower in the corner? There you go, I like that. Man, I'm blown through money, but I have plenty to spare. Okay, so there's our GP's... Oh, uh, not GP. That's our general diagnosis. <coughs> God. And let's just put a bunch of these here. Yield toilets here. Let's put a bunch of sinks over here. Let's do uh, two hand dryers. And let's do a bin. Alright, so now we have toilets. What do we got here? I knew it! Alright, we need a ward. Well, we need another building for it because I don't have enough room. Uh, let's do this. We'll put the ward over here. Alright, so that's going to take a few days. And where's a... I want an area... This looks good. That plot is going to be for, like, uh, for, like, our uh, doctors and stuff and our staff. Uh, we discovered a disease. Verbal diarrhea. Can't stop talking. Okay. So that's... Huh, that's an interesting one. Alright, he'll be fine. We're gonna get the ward going. Wow, we already have a lot of people. And they're not coming through one door, which is a little annoying. Oh well, this guy is going to go puke. So he's running. So apparently, <coughs> verbal diarrhea can uh, make you uh, throw up, apparently. So we need that. We'll build there. Yeah, somebody's dead. The Grim Reaper just showed up. Well, unfortunately, we're building the ward, so they're gonna just have to wait. My hospital's not doing so good. We, uh, we are unfortunately, uh, killing people. I guess verbal diarrhea, uh, is very difficult to cure. Alright, so we're gonna build those there. Uh, I'm gonna build more nurses stations so we have more nurses. Uh, I've worked at places like medical facilities and, you know, well, that one, this one's bugging me. Like, nurses stations are pretty big. It's not just, like, one computer. There's usually, like, four or five. Uh, that should be good. Alright, so that, that would be good. So, like, there would be, like, a big, like, spot for all of them. Alright, so we want, uh, one, uh, so we need one nurse required, and then the other three are optional. Okay, uh, I think we need nurses that are, 
We need nurses, I think, that know how to uh, do it. No, we don't. Okay, so we have somebody in our ward. So the ward now is stocked. So now we can uh, send people there for treatment. All right, good. That's like all the basic stuff. We have a lot of assistants. Uh, I don't think we need any more janitors. A lot of doctors. We're eventually going to need a doctor for psychology, which will be a pain in the ass to get because we need to train somebody on it, uh, which isn't a big deal. Uh, so I'm going to get training next. Built a little uh, school. So we need training. I like marketing, how that's a thing. All right, so I want the training room to be big enough to have a decent amount of people sit in. So let's do one, two, three. I made the room too big, so I have to take I have to take up space. Yeah, don't mind don't mind my inconsistencies with the spacing of the seats. That looks good. Don't mind the air conditioner in the background. It's very nice to have it here. Uh, room dedicated feeding and entertaining of staff. Well, I we should build the cat. I mean, every hospital has a cafeteria of some sort. Uh, I'm gonna put it over. Nah, that's too small. That's too small! No! <coughs> no. Fine. We'll just make something small. <coughs> we need a psychologist. I can't take it. And it's because we don't have any psychologists. So that's something we need. Uh, and none of these guys want to be a uh, psychologist. D here can, can train other staff, though. Which is odd that she can train people in the art of a... Uh, what's the word? She can train people to become psychiatrists, but she's not one herself. Psychiatry is going to be an important uh, room because a lot of your stuff is going to uh, be uh, psychotic based. So uh, a psychiatry will be vitally important to the point that you might have to build two of these. All right. So there's that. And then there's their comfy couch. And of course, we need to make it like a, I mean, I don't know about, I've worked in a medical facility where they had a behavioral health department where it was like psychiatrists. Um, it was psychiatrists and, like, social workers, and none of their offices look this nice. Watch, you'll see what I mean. Let's do, uh, hand sanitizer in there, of course. Somebody else just fucking died. Our pharmacy's not doing so hot. Uh, in fact, a lot of people are, uh, dying from our pharmacy. Uh, our GP's office is starting to get a little busy, but that's no big deal. Uh, we're waiting for, oh, ectoplasm. We're waiting for, uh, what you call it here? For our doctors to get trained in psychiatry. Which they will. So I'm not worried. Uh, there you go. That guy got cured. Can I speed up the game? Just fast speed. Okay. Yeah, we're working on it. There you go. Clean up that exoplasm. Don't worry. We have uh, we have one guy getting trained right now. In uh, how to be a, uh, a ghost capturer. I like the idea that you can become a psychiatrist in how long? In 7 to 10 days. <laughs> I guess it depends on the level of the... Uh, it depends on the level of the... Uh, what you call it? The doctor. I see a lot of our nurses uh, heading to the uh, staff room to rest, so i got to make sure we keep plenty of people. Alright, so psychiatry is now done. We have two doctors who are now apparently licensed psychiatrists. We made 400 bucks last month. <coughs> so that's good. Now that we have two doctors that are uh, psychiatrists. What? I thought the music just started glitching out. Alright, uh, so what I want to do now is... I want to do some research on pharmacy management. Our psychiatrist is uh, also uh, busy, it seems. Alright, we need uh, more nurses, unfortunately. Uh, there's our new applicant. There you go. Congratulations, Kirk. You are now going to be working... Uh, I forgot what this room is called. I have no idea what this room is called. I completely forgot. Alright, we have ghost capture now. So now if somebody else dies, which is inevitable, we are good to go. We need more janitors, I just realized. I see some dead plants right here. Uh, of course. And of course, we can hire somebody who can capture ghosts immediately. Uh, alright, so we just need to hire a bunch of janitors. They should call janitors maintenance, to be honest. Because they, uh, they do everything around here. <coughs> okay, we got a bunch of stuff. Impress the VIP. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, well, we gotta make sure these plants are all nice. I think another GP's office is required. Yep, we have a lot of people coming in. Uh, we have a guy, there you go. Capture that ghost. Hey, we gained a lot of money, because hospitals make money. Okay, alright, so that's good. We're uh, taking care of things. Training required, not now. That's good, that's good. 
Uh, these doctor salaries are like. <laughs> these doctor salaries are uh, like so like ridiculous. Uh, I work for a lot of gastroenterology people right now, and apparently a lot of these doctors make like millions. Apparently, like yearly. Uh, so these people are like making like these guys are making like no money. Listen, the fracture ward is what you call it. The fracture ward is open, right? We can we can get people to work uh, to sit in there. 